I'm not able to breathe. They did not continue oxygen for the last three hours. It's like my heart has stopped. This last message from a 34-year-old from a government hospital in Hyderabad to his dad has sent shock waves across the country. The man died soon afterwards. His father alleged that several hospitals denied admission to his son who was suffering from COVID-19. The video message was recorded an hour before the hospital said that the man died, according to reports. A team of medical experts has recommended placing Hyderabad under a lockdown once again to curb the rising number of coronavirus cases, Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao has said. The Chief Minister added that the government will take a call in the next three, four days. Hyderabad has reported a spurt in coronavirus cases, crossing the 10,000 mark as the government relaxed some of the lockdown curbs. The Chief Minister, however, said that there was no need to panic about the rising number of COVID-19 cases and all arrangements are in place to offer treatment to the poor. More than half a million people have been killed by the novel coronavirus worldwide in six months since the outbreak. Nearly two-thirds of the total deaths have been reported in the United States and Europe. The official death count for the disease now stands at 5,390,000 deaths from 1 crore 99,576 cases recorded worldwide. The United States has suffered the highest death count with over 1.25 lakh casualties, followed by over 57,000 in Brazil and more than 43,000 deaths in the United Kingdom. Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakare on Sunday made it clear that the lockdown in the state won't be lifted after June 30th. In an address to people of the state, Thakare said his government has been very careful in opening up things and are doing it very slowly because the threat isn't over yet. He urged people to not become carefree and stay at home if there's no urgent work. Maharashtra on Saturday reported 5,318 fresh infections and over 167 deaths, the highest single-day spike in the number of COVID cases and deaths so far. After tens of millions travelled for the three-day Dragon Festival in China ending on Saturday, no major outbreaks have been reported yet in an uplifting sign for China. Recently opened beauty salons in Beijing have also reported no positive cases, signalling that the outbreak has been largely contained. Another hard-hit country, Italy, is seeing a drop in its death toll. For the first time since the early days of the outbreak, less than 100 infected patients are occupying ICU beds in the country. World leaders on Saturday participated in a global fundraising drive for the distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine in the near future. The event organized by Global Citizen and the European Commission is aimed at raising billions of dollars to ensure COVID testing, treatment and vaccine availability. About a dozen potential vaccines are in testing stages, but the question of distribution among developing countries has created some ease at international forums. While numerous rich countries have already ordered experimental batches and expect delivery before final approval of the vaccines, health experts have warned that the allocation of vaccines for poorer countries could be inequitable and messy. Accused of accepting Chinese funds for the Rajiv Gandhi Foundation, the Congress on Sunday hit back at the BJP, saying donations from the Chinese firms have been poured into the PM Cares Fund also. Accusing Prime Minister Narendra Modi for having a soft spot for China, the party said hundreds in crores. The party said hundreds of crores have been funneled into PM Cares by a group of well-known Chinese firms, including Xiaomi, Oppo and Huawei, adding that this is the most worrying and alarming for the national security. Two orders from Jammu and Kashmir administrations stocking up of LPG for two months and seeking school buildings for security forces have created anxiety and panic among people. However, the government said that the directions for stocking up LPG have been wrongly communicated as the order was for winter, not summer. A clarification will be issued very soon, advisor LG Farooq Khan told NDTV. The other order issued by a senior police officer of Gandharbal district has requisitioned 16 educational institutions along the Srinagar Ladakh Highway to accommodate security forces. The police officer cited the security forces are needed for the Amarnath Yatra. The Tamil Nadu government has decided to transfer the probe into the death of a father-son duo, allegedly victims of police torture in Thutukuri district, to the CBI. The government's decision will be informed to the Madras High Court, which is seized of the matter and secure its approval before transferring the case to the central agency. The death of P. Jairaj and his son Benix, who became victims of alleged police torture, have triggered a national furor, leading to the suspension of four policemen. 
Starbucks said on Sunday that it will pause its advertising on social media while it studies ways to stop the spread of hate speech as a part of a growing corporate movement. The coffee selling giant has followed the lead of other big corporations like Unilever and Coca Cola, which announced similar pauses on Friday. Major social media platforms, but particularly Facebook, have faced sharp criticism for failing to eliminate racist or hateful posts. Michelin star chef and restaurant owner Vikas Khanna has been running massive food distribution drives amid the pandemic. In a recent interview about the same, a BBC anchor inquired whether Khanna's sense of hunger came from his upbringing in India. The US-based Indian chef's reply has gone viral on social media. Khanna told the news anchor that he is from Amritsar, where community kitchens can feed the entire city, which is why his sense of hunger is not from India, but actually his beginnings in New York. He spoke about his struggle of starting out as a youngster in the city of New York post the 9-11 period, when getting jobs as a brown person was especially challenging. Bharat Ratna has been trending on Twitter all Sunday. Users on the microblogging platform have poured in their suggestions for who deserves the honour. Anakshay Kumar and Sonu Sood seem to be the most popular choices. Netizens picked Akshay Kumar and Sonu Sood for the Bharat Ratna because of their contribution, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. While fans noticed Sonu Sood only for his efforts during the pandemic, users also recounted Akshay Kumar's donation since the Pulwama attacks in 2019.